Hello everyone, and I'm here with the Daydreaming Derpy demo. Now, for anyone who's heard of this, this has actually been out for a little bit. Uh, I feel bad that I didn't get to it earlier. It was something I had considered doing with Sapair, but he's been a little bit busy, and it's an RPG anyway, so I finally just kind of decided to... Uh, I'll probably start knocking out a few games on my own because the pair has been overly busy and it's been hard to, to it's been hard to talk him on to anything that he's not already excited for like Octavia's cello but most new games is like I care about that. Uh, so, uh, I'm probably going to be doing a lot of things on my own time. Uh, just on my own. Which is, it's fine. Uh, I don't mind kind of going back to things how they were a long time ago in a galaxy far away when I ran this channel by myself. Ponies still have nightmares. They do. Why do you ask? How are they able to sleep at night then? They just learned how to live with it. Hmm. Interesting. <sighs> what a day! Dinky, I'm home! Man. The sprites are kind of terrifying. <laughs> Already. I don't know how I feel about that derpy. Looks like some pony went to bed without me. Upsie daisy. Oh, that's Dinky. J Dinky looks like she's dead. Um, dinner's in the fridge. Thanks, Muffin. I'll eat it later, but first we have to get you to bed. I should turn in, too. Good night, dear. So, I've heard this game is a little Paper Mario-ish. It's, uh, for those of you who can't tell, it's made by the guy who made the, uh, Spikes Day Out slash Spikes Vacation, I think it was called, Day. Two cups of flour, one half cup of sugar, one tablespoon's baking powder. Oh no, are we gonna get a really bad recipe here? One cup milk, one fourth cup melted butter, two two eggs. This actually might be a real recipe. Uh, cause I don't know for anyone who's actually baked, but the cupcakes episode, the, the um, it was a cupcakes episode, but the... Uh, Apple episode with Applejack acting all tired and drunk. It was a really good episode where Applejack learned the importance of not being stubborn. But the the cupcake recipe... Wait, no, that was, a, that was a different episode. That episode, obviously, the recipe was bad. The Cutie Mark Crusaders, the, the first Cutie Mark Crusaders episode. Um... The cupcakes recipe is actually bad, which is a shame, because the song's really good, but to make the song good, they had to condense the, the recipe, and it's, it's not usable. Uh, so, I don't know why I went on that tangent to just, it's a fact, just a passing thought. It always seems to be closed. I'm sure most people know that, but for anyone who b doesn't bake who doesn't know that... Uh, you probably shouldn't bake with that recipe. Hey, Doc! Miss Derpy, stay back! Watch your step. These things are everywhere! The bubbles? You try popping one yet? Now is not the time for the scientific method! I wouldn't dare to touch one! Come on, try it! Bet you'll hear interesting stuff if you just pop one! Uh, apparently the bubbles turned evil. Oh, wow. Though Derpy's a lot stronger than these passing thoughts are. Derpy won. 6 EXP gained. See? No harm done. Now why don't you come down from there? Oh, no. So, 
I heard some I, I heard some comparisons to Paper Mario with the combat system, but it didn't really strike me at all like Paper Mario. Maybe just the looks of Paper I, I don't know. I heard something about Paper Mario when I downloaded this, and I'd be lying if I say I see anything of Paper Mario in this game yet. Also, is this from Earthbound? I think this song is from Earthbound. What's wrong? The TARDIS! Defense mechanism activated. It's my machine! Still thinks it's under attack. Quick, imagine yourself as something. Adorable? It's gonna say powerful, but yes, this is a dream, Miss Derpy. Can do vastly more than when you're awake. Hmm. Derpy gained the male mare uniform, sweet. Is that... Isn't that your uniform from your job? Brilliant! Absolutely brilliant! Now show him what for! Postal. Junk mail. Attack three random enemies. No post on Sundays! Okay, what's that do compa- Okay, so that does a bit more than bopping. Cool. But yeah, this seems a bit more standardy on the uh, turn-based combat than Paper Mario. There's no action timing as far as I can tell. There's no action timed dodges. There's just simple back and forth battles and that's not really a bad thing. I'm just saying to from whoever I heard the Paper Mario comparisons on, you're, you're wrong. <laughs> Uh, but this game is cute. I think I said something about the sprites, and the sprites are good. I, it's the, um, pictures that are still a little off for me. Like, Dr. Hooves has something strange going on with his lip, and Derpy's sprite, Derpy's, uh, portrait, I should say, is still a little off, but her actual sprite is utterly adorable, and I give props for that. Wow, Spiffy! Fascinating. Seems your psyche allows you to use different abilities based on your uniform. It looks like you can change your uniform through the pause screen with the zero key. Wait, let me catch up. Doc, you're telling me that we're in a dream? Your dream, to be precise. I was conducting an experiment on exploring the dreams of ponies. Oh, also, the zero key is a really weird key to have the pause button, but whatever. As it turns out, there's actually an entire world of dreams out there, filled with the gateways to other ponies' dreams. The research on this is just too irresistible to pass up. Sounds like great fun! How can I explore the rest of Dream World? Come inside, I'll explain the details later. Okay, this also works like, I don't know why it told me zero, because this also works like standard RPG Maker Fair, so you can just hit X to, uh, look at it. Okay, so I have stamps. Maybe that'll be something, like, maybe stamps will work like badges, and that'll be, uh, Paper Mario-ish. Clumsy step. Accidentally chip over your own hooves. Hits hard, but kind miss. Also causes recoil. Interesting. Status. Derpy. Muffins. Is Muffins my class? It's not my race, that's for sure. Uniforms. So there's the... Okay, that's my outfit. So let's see. Actually, my, uh... Default out... My default existence seems a little more powerful than my male mare uniform for some reason. So I guess there's no reason to change. They're just to check to see if the... Ch how seamless is it? Like, can I just change it? Yeah, I can just change instantly, and there's my uniform. That's pretty cool. So there are, that's cute. I like that. Enjoying peering through other ponies' dreams. For purely scientific purposes, of course. Doesn't sound, this doesn't sound very scientific, but whatever. Mom! Mom! Wake up! Mom, you okay? Sounded like you had quite the dream. Well, it's morning already. You should get up soon. Man, Dinky looks really unamused. And Derpy... 
Looks like she's not slept at all. Oh, well, that changed fast. Take a nap, go to Dream World. Well, I have to talk to my daughter first. Aw, oh, this... Also, what's in here? Oh, the kitchen. Oh, I should talk to Dinky first. Hey, Mom, do you need something? Oh, hey, you're the save point. Don't push yourself too hard out there. In the Dream World. How's school going, Dinky? It's fine. Some pony accidentally kicked a hole in the wall, so there's a draft where I'm sitting at. That's terrible! They need to patch that up right away! Yeah... Though, I'm not sure we'll look at the funds to repair it through. Guess I'll just have to deal with it. If it's bothering you, make sure to bring a sweater, or two, or three, or... I get it, Mom! I'll bring the sweaters! Maybe if I bring enough, I can clog the hole! Interesting thought. This is this is certainly an interesting dilemma. I just realized this entire room is uh, muffin shaped. That's curious. Do you have anything else to say? Oops, I accidentally hit save. No, it's the same thing. Well, unfortunately, there does not appear to be a quick uh, skip option on text. There we go. Not that it's that hard to get through. This this room's muffin shaped as well. I guess I shouldn't be dis surprised when Derpy's involved. Here's a list of credits to make this game possible. Wanna read it? No. Okay. Let's look at the credits real quick. Thank you for playing. I'm not done playing, though. Yeah, I was right! There's a lot- lots of Earthbound music and Mother 3 music. <laughs> Man, dude, dude must really love uh, the Mother series. In fact, I think I remember that from his other game as well. So it's just a taste of what's to come. You can follow the game's progress at these sites. Alright. Well, that's neat. Can I go outside too? Yeah, I can. I mean, I might as well explore the real world some, right? See all that the game has to offer. Though. So, oh, I can actually move up and down. Okay. That's, like, I thought this entire game was just outright a side-scroller. Hey, Derpy, care to buy some carrots? Sure. Oh, wow, I'm broke. Uh, never mind, you can keep your carrots. Howdy, Sugar Cube. Let me know if anything tickles your fancy. Get her done. Oops, I accidentally hit the wrong button. So, what about, can I do the uniforms in the real world, too? Okay. So, I can change uniforms, but it doesn't actively change my uh, outfit out here. That makes sense. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't really make sense, but it's easier than programming out the use of uniforms, so it just nullifies what they actually look like. Ah! You there, with the eyes! That's a little mean, Trixie. Talking to me? Yes! How does the idea of a short-term employment sound to you? Sounds like a good way to spend an afternoon. I'm looking for what we call in the magician's biz an assistant. Does the idea strike your fancy? It sure does. What do I have to do? Nothing too complicated. You just have to help me practice my tricks. Wearing this. Gain the magician's assistant uniform. Snazzy. That is kind of cute. Great. Let's get started. Uh... I'm guessing I should... What? So what am I actually doing here? Do I guard? Do I fight you? What is going on? What part of practicing your tricks involves beating the crap out of you? I guess let's try these rose darts. Oh, well, they do good damage. I'm, I think I'm actually gonna lose to Trixie here, though. Oh, hey, I got the stun off. Nice. Uh, Derpy don't feel so good. 
We may not be fully in sync as of yet, so we're gonna have to double our efforts next time. Derp you into ten bits. But, but, oh, okay. Sure, Trixie, whatever you're saying. We better double our efforts next time. We've got to beat the crap out of each other even more. You know, this game is still in demo, uh, so I can't, all, I can't be too hard on every little thing. But, uh, I kind of hope that there's a lot of, um, improvements. Uh, I, like, not for, I hope there's a lot of, um, extra things. Like, I would have preferred that be a mini game rather than just beat the crap out of Trixie for no reason. Actually, I did just notice the, uh, the... Uniform does give some extra stuff. I the dark red. Okay, that's another thing that could be a little less confusing now that I see it It isn't that confusing, but why? Why are the two colors for stats pink and dark red if dark red means it's a higher stat or it, It's kind of a weird dark pink like it's a very weird color why not have it like pink for lesser stats and blue for increased stats or something really visually striking this uh, this is something i actually just noticed is that the male murmur uniform has more uses than i thought like it gives you more luck and a lot more agility though it's still not uh it still gives less attack and less defense and less hp and that's kind of the same here. The Magician's Uniform gives a lot more uh, varied stats. Like, it, it makes you great at luck and uh, intelligence and that kind of stuff. So, basically what I'm saying is it could, it could just be a little more clear. How are you doing? Want to sate that sweet tooth? Then again, if I had have spent more than, like, two seconds looking at it, I probably would have, um gotten it a little faster, so maybe that's my fault. I don't know. You guys can tell me what you think. Uh, I'll buy a couple of apples. A couple of different apples that both seem to do the same thing, but I'll do it anyways, because I'm buying some apples. And uh, Apple Bloom would be very happy about this. <laughs> Just free... I, I'm not sure why or how it happened, but Derpy kind of flipped out there for a second. Alright, hey Lyra, what do you got to say for yourself? Nothing yet? Oh, stop! Step off that dirt! You're about to step on some genuine handprints! These are precious pieces of evidence, I've got to study these further! Uh, you, uh, gonna take a while? Yep! All day if I have to! Okay. So that shows we can't go that way. It looks like Aloysius is walking that way for some reason. Not gonna move, huh? Aloysius, you jerk. Well, what about my actual job? What do you guys have to say about all of this nonsense? Ah, Derpy, there you are. It's a busy day, so we're gonna have to put a little on a little extra elbow grease. You can count on me, boss. You don't have. You don't. You. Don't have the choice not to, Derpy. Given your record, we better not have any more slip-ups. It's not gonna happen. Oh, it's gonna happen, boss. Excuse me? I mean, I'll be doing my best, boss. That's what I'm afraid of. So why do you hire me? I'll be doing my best. What, what, what use am I to this establishment if even my best is horrid? Whatever. Wait. What the fuck? What did I tell- Why is all of this gone out? Uh, what did I tell you? She went and did it again. Uh, is Derpy just crazy? Or is all this stuff really trying to murder me? Like, the male just killed me. Boss. I was talking to myself, Derpy. Listen, I realized I was probably giving you too much to take care of. Gonna have to talk about what you can do properly around here later. Can't have more accidents like these. I may have to move you to another department if this continues. Alright, boss. I earned 10 bits regardless of the fact that I died the first turn of that combat. 
Derpy, you came just in time. I received a new shipment of stamps, fresh from the press. Still working on your stamp collection, Frazzle? As should you, Derpy. Been slacking on your stamp collecting game as of late. Haven't gotten the thrill of adding new stamps to your collection, have you? Of course not. Each stamp has so much history behind it. Just having it causes such an impact on my psyche. It's like it applies minor boosts to my stats or something. Well, to help you jump back into your building your own collection, I'll be selling some here to get you started. Employees discount, of course. Perfect. Yes, I would love to buy some stat boosters. And by that, I mean I would love to not have enough money for anything. Let's see, so I could boost my HP and defense, intelligence and MP, all the stuff. Alright, I want the Sun Princess stamp. That sounds useful. Alright, time to go back to the Dream World. Hopefully, I don't go back to the Dream World with 1 HP. Otherwise, I actually might have to load my first ever save. <laughs> and just head straight for the Dream World. Because, uh... I'm gonna, I'm gonna save in an extra slot here. Oh, okay, uh, returning home and talking to Dinky actually gives me more HP. So let's see if now that I'm, uh, restored on my HP, if I can actually deal with the, these, uh, mailbags a little more effectively. Oh no, oh jeez, the mail is really threatening. I don't know how to deal with it. At least with at least with Trixie, I felt a little confident that I might be able to fight her. The mail just destroys me. Okay, let's try Trixie again. Uh, see if maybe now that I understand that it's actually a battle, if I if I have a little more luck on her though, or if I just can't win against her at all. Because actually, it, it, like, unlike the male, it wasn't like she just utterly destroyed me. Um, we had a pretty fair combat. I just didn't really know what I was doing. Okay, and there's the stun. Uh, so, since stunning seems to give an outright free turn, I should probably... Not- oh wait, it, I guess it kind of depends. The stun status seems to last for a kind of random amount of turns, but still, as you can see, I'm getting in a lot of attacks. And there we go, Derpy won. Splendid work, my assistant! You murdered me perfectly! Okay, so that earns you a little more money to spend on stuff. I still don't have- uh, perfect HP. Like I said, hopefully these will be replaced. Uh, I'll do that one more time. I have th 40 bits now. So, one more go with that, and then I'm going to be able to buy the uh, Princess Celestia stamp. And then I'll keep going with the demo. Hopefully this isn't overly boring. This is just kind of how I play RPGs, especially ones with like this that I'm like, well, I can just keep repeating the same thing for money, so I might as well do that and go ahead and, uh, get all the items I want. But yeah, unfortunately the magician's out- this rose trick seems potentially useful, but it's also really luck-based on whether or not you actually hit the stuns. Like, this time I might lose the fight. Oh, well, okay, no, I didn't actually. I actually wonder, maybe I lost the fight before because I wasn't at full health, or maybe I just wasted a lot of turns being unsure what to do, because actually Trixie doesn't seem that hard to uh, beat, as opposed to the other thing. The other thing, another thing I'm not quite sure on is I think there could be a, I wouldn't mind a slight increase in movement speed. And these are all things I'm kind of mentioning in the off chance that the person watching this, uh, it, like, sits down and, and I mean, it, this is, all these things I'm mentioning are kind of in the off chance that the, per, that the uh, person making this game actually watches this. I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't, but wouldn't that be cool? If, you know, the, the person watching this act, I mean, the... 
God, I can't fucking talk today. I keep se I keep doing that where I mix up my sentences. Like, it's so it it I feel so stupid. <laughs> Anyways, it would be really cool if the person making this game watched this and took some of my basic advice, even though I sound like an idiot. Oh wait. Dinky dear, what are you doing here? Mom, glad you could make it. Check this out. These can take us anywhere we want to go. I tied in this basket so I, I can fly us around. Well, I would if I wasn't so darn heavy. A little pudge didn't hurt any pony, dear. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You're a fat ass, Tinky. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to need one more balloon to get this floating again. In the meantime, I guess you could take a look around. If you ever need to save or heal up, I'll be right here. Hmm. Well, obviously I should go to the door with a muffin in it. That's just, that, that's common, s oh. That's this one, again, alright. Well, no real reason to go back there, then. I guess it makes sense to go to the lit up door, then. Because this one looks the most exciting. Man, Dinky is just everywhere. Oh. Okay, well, it is the dream world, so I guess I can't complain about Trixie getting angry, Trixie. Hey, Mom. Did you need something? I love going to the movies. Sometimes during the parts of the movie where you're asleep, I crawl around the seats to swipe some candy off the ground. Most of the time, I just find stale popcorn, but sometimes there are whole pox boxes of barely touched theater candy. I don't know what to say about that. What do you mean Trixie doesn't have enough bits? The entrance to the theater one is 30 bits. You tended over a rubber band and a piece of candy. Only valid forms of payment are accepted here. Uh, if you didn't look so familiar, Trixie would have long, have long refused you her business. Is there a problem here? Trixie simply wishes to unwind and watch a movie at her own leisure. Ah. But it seems that this is not meant to pass. Not for this mare. Oh. I think you look like some pony who deserves a good movie night. How about I treat us to one? You'd do that? Does this look like a face that would lie to you? Nah, actually it is. Because I don't have 30 bits. Even in the dream world, you can't do nothing without money, apparently. Party members can't follow. That's an interesting stipulation. So, I can actually collect party members in some of these. Also, there's a ghost. Oh! <laughs> I'm the ghost! Wah! What's wrong with your face? What about my face? This is, wait a minute. Speaking of music that uh, comes from other things, this is the Inspector Gadget theme in 8 that I hear here. Hmm? Listen, sorry if I frightened you. I didn't realize there are other ponies in here. Sorry. Also, I'm just a little shook up. What were you doing in here? I was hiding. Did you even see what was out there? I'm staying in here where nothing can get me. How'd you even get in here anyway? Oh no. Sounds like we've got some zombie ponies. What was that? That is something I'm not curious enough in to find out, but can't just stay in here forever. Watch me. What if I told you it's not as bad as you think it is out there? How so? I'm a mayor of certain talents, but I can't do my work from inside a broom closet. Are you telling me you can get rid of whatever's out there? Apparently so. I didn't know Derpy was- I mean, I guess everything in this world requires battling. 
one, but I still know Derpy consider herself such an expert exterminator. I'm gonna need an extra hoof. Fine, I'll go out there with you, but at the first sign of spooks, I'm out. Derpy made a new friend. I'm Moon Dancer. Ponies call me Derpy. Now let's go bust some ghosts. Yeah. Moon Dancer, one of the pony, one of the new ponies that I'm actually not that ecstatic about, but I can say that I'm a lot of new characters. It's not bad. I just don't have a lot of positive or exciting things to say about her. She exists. Book light. So late night deals fire damage to one enemy. Though that is an interesting character to have in this sort of game, I suppose. So does that mean we're entering her scary dream here, I suppose? Hmm. I look a ghost there. We'll talk to you in a second. Let's go upstairs first. Okay, maybe I'll we'll talk to the ghost first. I don't wanna wander around the house all over the place for nothing. Just a passing thought. I oh. <laughs> yeah, Moon Dancer doesn't seem to do a lot with her physical damage. Let's try setting this oh yeah, yeah, that does a lot more damage. <laughs> setting ghosts on fire seems to be the way to go. Oh wow, nice crit, Derpy. That's some intense tripping action he got there. Derpy is now level 2. Good thoughts learned. Derpy got a brand muffin. Don't make this awkward. You always make this awkward. What? Who makes what awkward? Can't beat the classics to cover 50 HP. I guess Derpy always makes it awkward when she gets a muffin. Hey mom, do you need something? Yeah, why are you all over the place? Uh, you know what's a really good book series? Daring Do! No, it's a really good hearthwarming present? The exclusive Derpy Daring Do box set. I said Derpy Do. Oh, I'm so bad. You know what? Those demos actually lasted a little longer than I expected. I'm impressed. I say is it'll probably end almost instantly. But the game does have save points. It has party members. It has a combat system. I'm interested to see where it's gonna go. And I will keep, uh... I'll keep on this, though. I think for now, I'm gonna go ahead and take a rest here. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you all next time.